guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shannon. If you have not been here before, welcome. If you have been here before, welcome back. You guys know what is up with that. So I'm a makeup addict, a makeup lover, whatever you'd like to call me. I cover everything here on my channel from drugstore all the way up to luxury makeup products. Um, I do do some fashion and skincare videos as well. So if that is something you think you'd be interested in, make sure you do hit that red subscribe button down below as well as that little bell notification beside it if you want to stay up to date with my videos because you guys know I'm not the most frequent uploader and I tell you in every single video. I am getting better, or I think I am. Am I? <laughs> I hope so. Today's video is going to be a foundation um, kind of review. I've only worn the foundation once, so I need to test it out, obviously, more. But we are going to try it today on camera. It's the Dior Forever Skin Glow. This is the new reformulated um, skin glow foundation. Now, I have not tried the first one that was released. I had it in my cart so many times. And when I seen the new one come out online, I seen it on the bay, I went ahead and picked it up. Now, if you want to see some comparison videos, I will link some videos down below of a few of my favorite people who I know have done comparisons on this, who can really tell you the differences. But I just wanted to try this one for myself, see if I like it. I tend to like glowy foundations, so I'm curious to see if it gives me a little bit of a glow to my skin. Uh, but yeah, I just want to go ahead and try this out. If you guys want to see me try this out, do a wear test, then just keep watching. Okay, guys, so I do feel like I'm a bit... I have SB up on. So I'm gonna actually dim that a little bit just so you can see my skin, I think a little bit better. Hopefully that is good. I'm gonna get my hair out of my face. Um, so I wanted to talk about this a little bit before going in with the foundation. So this is a 30 mil, one ounce product. That's how much product is in here. This is what the bottle looks like. It has obviously the Dior emblem on the top. Very same almost packaging as the original, except this is written across the front. Whereas the other packaging had it written here. Everything else I think is the same. Now, this is a reformulation of that product. Again, I haven't tried it, but I can tell you what I know for the differences. Um, one of the main things I talk about is this product using cleaner ingredients. So a bit more of a clean formula. I will say if you're thinking that it means it's fragrance free, it's not. It definitely has fragrance. I can smell it even after I put it on my skin. So don't think you're going to get away with no fragrance. There is fragrance in here. Um... Now, it does say it has concentrated floral skincare, which is not in the other products, so it's supposed to be more skincare heavy. This also has less SPF. The other one has 35 SPF. This one has 15 SPF. I personally prefer less SPF in my foundation. I wear a SPF anyway, and um, it's, it's better for less flashback to have less SPF. So I personally prefer not to have a ton of SPF in my product, so I'm okay with that. Um, now, this is supposed to be a 24 wear radiant foundation. It's supposed to give kind of more of a glow, I think, from within. So not super, super dewy, but still hydrating. Um, it is supposed to be more of a medium coverage, which is something I tend to like. So I'm just going to go ahead and try this on my skin and see what I think. Now, just so you guys know, I did prep my skin with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. That's what I tend to use to prep my skin. And I did go in with the Hawaiian Tropic. What is this FTF? Um, the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration Weightless Face SPF 30. I use this all the time. I really do enjoy it. And I'm going to go in with a foundation brush. I'm going to use the Sigma, what is this? The F80. This is part of the Ambiance Collection. Um, it needs to like a full cleaning, but I did do a rough cleaning with just a dry clean spray. Um, but we're going to go in with this. I'm not going to get into too much information. I just kind of want to go in with the product. I kind of want to turn this ring light down just a bit so you can see my skin. Hopefully it doesn't like screw up the quality. I just I just know when those lights are really like bright, it makes a difference in quality. So that's the pump on there. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna go in right on the foundation brush and I'm gonna start with like a pump and a half. We're gonna do that. Now I did wear this foundation once. I didn't necessarily wear test it. I only wore it for a few hours just to try it out to get an idea. Uh, again, it has a strong fragrance. The shade I'm wearing, by the way, is 1N, in case you're curious. Um, it's a pretty good match for my skin, actually. I do find it leans a little on the yellow side, but nothing too crazy. It looks more yellow on camera, honestly, but it is pretty neutral. But it works pretty good on my skin. You can see that compared to my neck. So again, it is a little yellow, but nothing too insane. Um... I just have mainly like redness around this area. My skin is pretty normal. 
Um, it can run a bit dry, which it is right in this area. So I'm curious to kind of see if it still works okay on those areas. I usually do my brows after my foundation, but I felt like doing it beforehand. So I gotta be a bit careful right there. Now the foundation applies decently. Like I don't find it's that hard to blend out. It does have a little bit of a glow to it, but it's definitely not super dewy when this dries down. And like when you set this, it definitely just looks more like a natural kind of like satin finish. It's definitely got a little bit of radiance to it, which the camera is definitely going to show off because of the lights, but it's not super glowy. It's not as glowy as I thought this one was going to be. And I would say it's like a light medium coverage. It's You can build this up to be a little bit more of a medium coverage, but I personally like it this way, but I will put just a little bit more in this area just so you can see, because you can see my skin still coming through. You can see my freckles, everything like that. So I'm just gonna go in with just a small, small amount. I didn't even do like half a pump. And I'm just gonna put it kind of in the areas that I want a little bit more coverage. This has more of a, it's not a thick consistency by any means, um, but it does kind of have that kind of like, I don't know, like SPF feel to it. Do you know what I mean? And you can definitely feel the skincare ingredients in this when you're applying it. Like it just feels more like that lotion-y kind of texture, which a lot of foundations have when they have skincare ingredients in them. Uh, but you can see it looks really pretty on my skin. I don't have any issues with like how it blends out. I actually think it looks better today than it did the other day, if I'm being honest. And it looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks good around my nose area. Everything seemed to cling pretty nicely. Hmm, okay. So I like it better today than I did the other day. Now I will say the other day I didn't um, prep my skin the same. I actually, um, I don't think I put my magic cream on when I wore this, so that could definitely help it out a little bit. All right, so I took my light down even more. Obviously you can see my dark circles under my eyes. You can see what lighting does though, but still you can see really what this is looking like on my skin. It's my forehead area. I think it looks pretty good. I'm liking it so far. I'm gonna go ahead and put my other makeup on and I'll turn the lighting a little bit back up, but we'll come back and kind of examine it further. All right guys, so I have my makeup finished. Um, Let's turn it down a little. Okay, so I think you can see it a little bit better with that turned down. It does look nice, especially in this area. I will say though, and I don't know if you can see it, I have a bit of dryness right here and I feel like it's just like a tad bit cakey. I don't know, this is one that I can feel on my skin. Like I feel it sitting. It does look nice though. Like it, it, it does look nice so far and it did look nice upon first application when I wore it the first time. So I do have high hopes for it. Um, I don't know, what do you guys think? I think it looks pretty good. I'll move it up there. Everything applied good over top of it. I didn't have any issues with it like, um, we'll turn that back up. I didn't have any issues with like powder or anything applying poorly over this. It applied really nicely actually. So I did enjoy that and I, I found it the same the other day. Um, I don't know, I have to wear test this. But I think overall, like it applied really nicely on my nose area, which is a problem area for me. Now I did use the Milani Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer. This is one of my favorites. I know it's drugstore, but I don't care. It's like one of my favorite concealers. Um, if you're looking for a good creamy concealer, that one's great. Um, I don't know. I think it looks good so far. It has like, I feel like the coverage I was able to get to more of a medium. And like I said the other day, I felt like I could build it as well. But to start off, I would say it's more of a light medium coverage. Um, it's not too glowy. It may look more glowy on camera because of the lighting. Um, I did set it with a Dior powder, no powder, because that one's kind of a lighter powder that lets a glow come through on your skin. And I really wanted to see how this one would wear with a light powdering um, because I did powder it more on the matte side that first time I wore it. Um, and I did feel like it, I don't know, I felt like it was dehydrating my skin a little bit, like my skin looked drier than normal and I could feel it, especially in this area. So I'm curious to see if I noticed that today, but I will do some check-ins with you guys, but 
So far so good. I've only had it on for about half an hour, but I'm gonna do a quick like kind of daylight video portion so you guys can see what it looks in natural light. And then I'll do some check-ins. So I will see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so I am just checking in in front of a window just so you can see what it looks like in front of a window. I actually think it looks better. Does it not look better in like daylight lighting? I think this looks better than the ring light lighting. Hmm, it does. I think it looks better in the daylight lighting. What do you guys think? It looks pretty smooth. I have to give it that. My nose area looks great, which I really appreciate. My fine lines haven't really come out yet, but again, I've only had this on like a short period of time. Like I literally just came from my beauty room. Again, my forehead and this area you can see, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but it is a little bit heavier right there. It doesn't look bad, but it's just something to note that I do kind of notice it there in those kind of dry areas, but everything else looks pretty good so far. So again, I will wear this. It's currently, what time is it? What time is it right now? Let's back up. It is 11, um, 34 right now. So I will try to test this a little bit longer. I'll probably come back in like six hours or so and just let you guys know what it is looking like. Hey guys, so I am back for my like, I guess I'm doing a four hour check-in. I've had this on for about four hours. Um, I think it looks pretty good. I do think it kind of looks, it looks pretty good right here. I do think around this area, yeah, around this area and kind of here, it's looking a bit heavy, um, a little more makeup-y than I'd like. It's come off a little bit on my nose. Obviously, it's in my smile lines, but that happens with most foundations. It's not too bad. I do think my cheek areas look really good. Forehead, I don't know. What do you guys think? I feel like a little bit along here has come off. Maybe I'm crazy, but I just feel like there's something right there. It doesn't look too bad though. I feel like it's settled into my forehead actually a little bit better, but you do see it kind of in my lines and up here on my forehead. It just looks a little heavy, I feel like, in this area. Not as like, I don't know. It's not as hydrating as I thought it was going to be. I don't think it looks bad. I just don't think it looks like amazing. Like I have other foundations that look better at this point. Um, I'll keep trying it again. It was a similar experience um, the first time I tried it. I don't think it looks bad though. It does have good coverage, but I will check in again probably around the six hour mark. All right guys, so I am here for my six hour check-in. It's now a little after 5.30, I think, maybe a little bit later. So maybe a little bit more than six hours. Um, it's dark here, so I'm just in my beauty space. Um, I just had tacos and I'm... <laughs> Not that it's anything to do with it, but that's why my lips look like shit. Um, not loving it. Not loving it. Um, it looks really hella dry right here. It's trans. It transfers off a bit too onto my fingers fairly easily. It looks kind of bad around my nose area. It's broken up, definitely. I don't know if you can tell, but it's broken up like right around here. It looks kind of cakey here. I've lost coverage here. It looks okay on this side. Again, uh, I don't know. It's okay. It looks a bit cakey though, heavy. I kind of just want to take it off at the six hour mark, which isn't a good sign. But yeah, that's my check-in. Not loving it, looks a little dry, even though I prepped my skin more than last time. Still looks dry, doesn't look great in here. I don't know, I'm not loving it so far, but I will do one final check-in and that'll be the end of the video, but I will see you guys in a bit. All right guys, so I am here for my final check-in, pretty much at the eight hour mark, a little bit before, but I'm getting ready to have a bath, so I'm gonna take this stuff off. Um, again, it's, a lot more wear than it was previously. You can see my bronzer here is completely worn off. It could be from me laying my hand against my face. Wow, my hair is beautiful. <laughs> Just ignore that. But yeah, I'm getting in the bath here soon. So you can see the wear here, obviously. And then it looks a little patchy, honestly. And my bronzer definitely didn't. You can see, actually, when I go in here, how dry it is here. Down here is probably the worst around my mouth area. Now I did eat tacos, but still, like, 
it's pretty much broken apart here. There's only pieces of the foundation left. Um, this side is not as bad. Most of my forehead makeup is gone, like all up here. Um, the parts that aren't are kind of looking a little dry. Yeah, mostly gone here. Obviously my nose, I, I tend not to hold it as much against. It's pretty dry right here. Mostly this area, it looks a little dry and not great. The same as it did the first time I wore it. Now I have had it on for eight hours and I do touch my face a lot. My baby touches my face. But overall, I it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite of my foundations I have. I'm going to keep trying it though, guys. I will put a pinned comment after I try it for a few more days. Um, but so far, I'm kind of like, meh. For $65, I expect it to perform a little bit better. Remember, I'm in Canada. It's 55 I think it's like 52 in the States. But still, for that price point, I expect it to perform a little bit better. But I'll keep testing it out. I'll try it with even more hydrating bases. I'll try it with a smoothing primer. I'll try it without primer. I'll do all that stuff and see if I can find a better way and maybe try not powdering it and see if that helps, but I highly doubt it. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of on the fence about this one. It's so-so. It looked good at the first of the day and for the first like four hours it wasn't bad, but yeah. I'll keep testing it out. I'll let you guys know, but if you did like the video, make sure you do give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, like I said at the beginning, and the like button. It really does help me out, but I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.